Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and uh, today we're going to talk about file corruption. Um, why it happens, why you might have corrupted files on your computer. And you'll see that it's not necessarily totally clear why we do have it and um, what it can affect in your system. So, um, this is a request by uh, a viewer and I thought it was also a good subject to talk about in a video because it does happen quite often and pretty much everybody in every computer has at least a few corrupted files on them. The thing is, corrupted files don't always mean your computer will go bad or there's, be, there's going to be problems because corruption can happen in files that have no importance for the general functions of your computer. So it could be and basically it happens quite often that some files are corrupted but have no effect at all or are the type of files that will you know just display bizarrely but will not prevent any um, actions where it starts to get noticed is when your computer starts going uh, you know blue screens of debt or sluggish or there's something happening and you're wondering why and then um, you you know look at everything and the drivers and everything seems normal but then you scan your computer and you notice that there are corrupted files and there's problems so how does this happen you know what it can happen at any time and for a huge number of reasons it could be that a file was modified or changed incorrectly simply because the process was not programmed correctly it could be that a um, it could be mechanical, it could be a hard drive uh, that, you know, especially in the magnetic uh, hard drives, you move your laptop around or you, you're moving the hard drive while it's spinning and writing files, it can actually induce errors while it's doing that. Uh, it could simply be that because of firmware or hardware issues, sometimes files might be written incorrectly and they become corrupted. Uh, there's no clear answer. Uh, of course, it could be a sign in some cases of a hard drive going bad, but not always. And um, I would say that corrupted files can happen probably uh, anytime, even with a very good drive. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of reasons. Like I said, this could happen. Uh, remember that a computer is actually processed by a human and, um, and made by a human meaning that the software in the computer itself isn't perfect as it's made by humans that often are not 100% perfect. So there's a number of things that you can check. If you uh, if somebody tells you, I think you got corrupted files or problems, there's a lot of things you can try for to uh, fix. One of the most popular is the, um, if you right click and go into your command prompt administrator, uh, or if you want to go to your command prompt administrator, you can also go through the list of all programs and in the command prompt program, make sure that you right click and uh, choose to um, have it executed by uh, administrator. So you'll uh, want to make sure that whatever you use, you use the administrative form of the command prompt uh, for sure. Once you are in the command prompt administrator, uh, either because you right clicked on the command prompt and said that you wanted to run it with admin rights or in Windows 10 you see that you already have it as admin if you want. Uh, one command that you can use is SFC. So SFC, which is the scan file system basically, it will check the integrity of all the files on the system and you know will check if they are valid or not so you can click sfc slash scan now will scans the integrity of all predicted system files and repairs files with problems when possible verify only scans the integrity of all protected system files no repair op op operation is performed you just verify scan file will check of course this the the integrity of a specific file verify once again will not change it just check if it's okay and uh, you can of course 
offline repair specified the location of the offline boot directory and windows directory for drives that are not online for um, the computer so basically that's one command and this is sometimes used when there's problems in windows because it can happen that a file a driver something somewhere is not correct there's a problem and this can actually detect it and say oh yeah you've got a problem here and I'm gonna fix it another type of command that you can use is the check disk command because sometimes file can be corrupted because of the way they were written or because there's something wrong with the file for example it could be that a cluster on your hard drive has a corruption as a problem so the file itself might be okay it's just that it's incorrectly reported on the hard drive so there's a command called chk uh, chk dsk for check disk and you can run this with a slash r for repair and when you do that and press enter it's going to start scanning your volume now because it cannot repair a hard drive that has problems when windows works you can check yes here and that means when you restart next time you reboot your computer it's going to do complete hard drive scan before you get into Windows so here I'll type no but that is not a bad thing to do from time to time I would say maybe every three to four months because if for example your computer crashed in the blue screen or if it froze and you had to turn it off using the power button stuff like that it might mean that some files have been incorrectly written to a hard drive and this will check that find that information and fix it uh, this command also helps a lot of tech guy I've used this command a lot com like you know clients will say oh I press the power button to close my computer because it froze and it doesn't boot anymore well the check disk command is available if you have a Windows disk if you have a Windows 7 disk lying around keep it because you can boot your computer with it and actually use the tools if you have of course created the boot um, the Windows 10 or Windows 8 boot USB thumb drive you can use it and there is a command where there's a a way to boot it into repairing your system and in the command line you can do check disk slash R to repair problems on a hard drive and very often you get back the control of your computer it also fixes sometimes when your hard drive starting to fail gives you at least you know uh, a way to boot back into Windows and at least have the time to maybe backup files you haven't time to do so before you have to change your hard drive or stuff like that so that's another way of repairing uh, corrupted files on your computer and of course if all fails or if the data is difficult to read maybe the, the hard drive really is failing a lot or the corruption is so bad that it just you know windows or command lines like this just can't do anything uh, especially if you're in business and you have some really valuable data well there's this Spinrite is one of the best software out there to actually check your hard drive for any types of errors and actually make it work again uh, this is a very amazing software it is not free so you have to buy it but you know what if you have a hard drive with some important stuff on it and you just can't get to it because of some corruption or file problems this software will most likely fix it and give you access to the files again so uh, Spinrite I'll put of course the link to this software in the description below the video if you ever need uh, this is really one of the best tools out there so check that out and like I said uh, corrupt files can happen um, and I'm pretty sure anybody that checks their computer for corrupt files will find that there are some here and there but most of the time they don't do anything but you know when the corrupt files and the drivers it can make your computer crash it can prevent um, a um, device that's plugged in your computer not working correctly uh, it's very surprising what can happen when uh, a corruption occurs and um, you know don't worry it doesn't necessarily mean your computer is not working right and one last word about corruption uh, it's 
probably used a little too often by tech guys that don't know what they're doing. So very often it's like, oh, well, you got some corrupted files and I fixed that. And that's why it's working better. And yeah, there's a lot of bull in there. So be careful when a uh, tech guy tells you, well, you've got corrupted files. That's why there's a problem. Uh, it's, you know, kind of an easy way out catchphrase that they often use. And, uh, you know, it can happen, it can be true, but it can often be that uh, they just don't know what they're doing. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of tech guys don't know what they're doing out there. So, a few ways to check out corrupted files. You can scan your system and see what happens. And, um, you know, if your computer's been going bizarre uh, in, the, in, in the past few weeks or stuff like that, it might be worth it to do a... Uh, a scan now, SFC scan now, and also a uh, check disk slash R. Uh, you answer yes for next time the system restarts, and you know let it just check your your, your hard drive, and uh, you might see that it actually fixes some files that are corrupted and uh, replaces a few things. It might be uh, interesting to uh, check it out. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything you want to know, let us know. And uh, hopefully you enjoy my videos.